everyone. I'm Jessica Ramey. And I'm Rachel Van Wert. And we're here today to talk about loving your leftovers. And one of the things we love to do here at Marion County is talk about waste and waste reduction. And it's a great place to start in your very own kitchen, in your fridge, and in your freezer. Um, in our county, we waste about 24% of the food that we bring into our houses. So we're going to give you some simple tips to take that number down. Um, today I'm going to do two things. Um, we're going to do a hot dish and a cold dish um, and just kind of get you guys thinking about the fun things that you can do with those things that you would normally pitch out in your fridge. Great. So um, you have a container here. Here's the container. Tell me what you put into this. Okay, so this is what I call my catch-all. Um, it is really solid glass. It um, has a really thick lid. You can kind of shove it in all around your fridge and your freezer. And what I do every day is if we have some scraps of vegetables or meat on a bone, I just throw it in here. And when I'm ready, I make stock. And then what I do with my stock is I use it to add to rice dishes. I bring it for yummy soups for my lunches. Um, and we just use it all over the house, um, all over the kitchen just you know every day for other food and it cuts down on our waste and it tastes yummy. Um, we're going to do it today in an instant pot. That's not needed though so if you have a crock pot do it that way. If you don't have a crock pot put your um, pot on the stove, add your water. You're going to bring everything to a boil for about five minutes then let it sit there for a couple hours. Um, these fancy dancy tools are great. I love them but they're not needed to protect your leftovers and use them again. So should we start? Great, I would love to see it. All right. So today we're gonna actually do a vegetable chicken stock. Um, as you guys can see, I have some carrots that are a little bit limp and probably not gonna have the crunch, especially if you have a toddler, they're gonna go, ah, don't want it. Um, I have a few pepperoncinis. There are the last few ones floating in the jar that nobody's been eating, and they go. Um, some of the ends of my parsnips, a um, few tail ends of onions as well. Now, when folks do this, sometimes people say, well, what if I don't buy meat that has a bone? What if we don't eat meat? Um, it's a really kind of rumor we need to stop. Vegetable stock by itself is delicious. Try it out, you'll love it. So when you're making broth at this point, if you wanted to throw herbs or other spices in, you can go ahead, but I'm a pretty basic girl. I season this with my other meals. Um, all my chicken is kind of nice and happy in there and is gonna give some really great flavor. There we go. My pressure valve is set correctly. Um, for a crock pot, you can, like I said, you can let your uh, broth stay all day. Um, Instapots are great. I go ahead and I set it actually for my meat uh, soup. I do it for 45 minutes for a kind of a quick fix. If you really want to kind of get all the nutrients out of the bones, you could do it for an hour or run it through again. Um, your choice. And here we go. Our broth has started. I learned this little tip from a friend of mine that has toddlers. Uh, and I actually was fed this by um, my two-year-old niece, and I love them, and I got the recipe, and I just kind of made them a little more adult-friendly for um, my family and our life. And so what this is, is um, some folks may have experienced this. You buy yogurt, you have really great intentions, and then coming close to that date where it's getting a little funky, you still have half a tub of yogurt. Um, so what we've done with these is that we have made little, I'm going to put this out on my hand. Um, I have a little silicone mold and it's heart shaped and I just take the yogurt. I blend it up with some whatever fruit is in my house that kind of needs to go. Um, I have some fancier ones in here that, um, because it was Valentine's Day, we added last week some chocolate chips. And I just sit these in the mold, let them freeze for about two to three hours, pop them out of my mold, and it's a silicone mold, so it's non-stick. And then I just toss them in a mason jar, toss them in the freezer, and when someone wants kind of a yummy treat, they take a bite. Um, again, if you don't have silicone molds, if you have muffin tins, um, 
You could even do these in just little mounds and drops on a cookie sheet um, with some wax paper or a silicone mat and freeze them and then just put your drops away after they're frozen. So great treat, tasty treat, loving your food waste, loving your leftovers. So if you want some more information about all the things we do here at Marion County, um, mcrecycles.net and have a great Waste Less Wednesday.